Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, we fought the creature and pretty much embarrassed the poor little fella whilst he was trying to roll for justice. Oh well. Or should I say roll for evil, I guess, would be more apt. Anywho, let's continue, shall we? We need to explore the library. Now, I'm curious. Yep, that's still healing us. Huh. Interesting. Yep, definitely must have been a bug when I was playtesting this last time. Anywho, to the library. Unfortunately, in the uh, reverse castle, sadly, we cannot actually gain access to the shop. But, no matter. There's some interesting new enemies in here. We have the Uncurse. And we have these lion guys. But I think for the sake of speeding this up a little bit, we're just going to turn into a gas cloud and float around. Because we pretty much have impunity when doing this. I don't think there's any point in fighting these guys because I'm pretty sure they're not worth it, like, at all. Because the amount of experience we're getting from things is just essentially zero. I think it might very well be zero, actually. Now, the gas cloud doesn't actually hurt these guys. These are tin men. Ow. Um. Calm down there, little friend. They kind of look cool when they fall apart as well. It's <laughs> like literally a trash can uh, with a swinging axe. I like it. Anyway, here we are. This is uh, where the librarian would be, were he here. But he has vacated for now. So let's keep exploring. Um, now, I don't want to miss anything if I can. So I kind of want to mark things off on the map as we go. Because we're going to get a weapon down here. And it's an interesting weapon. It's not like super powerful or anything, although I get the feeling that potentially it could be. And we'll find that in the not too distant future. These weird decapitated heads are quite cool though. These schmooze. As the game calls them. I've got some more resist potions, which I will have them. No point in leaving them for the roaches. And of course, we have to leave a little square unexplored because, uh, of course we do. Yeah, literally, like, nothing is much of a threat to us anymore. At least, nothing we've encountered so far. Now, I haven't, at this point, fought Dracula yet. So, I'm not sure how strong he is. But I guess we're going to find out not too far from now. We could have just stayed up there and gone through the door. But, you know, I'm a stupid ass. I am wondering if this recording session, um, or not this particular recording session, but uh, within the next couple of videos, I'm pretty sure we might actually complete this game. I wish I could do longer than 20 minute videos, I'll be honest, but unfortunately, that's a little bit too much for my internet to handle. For now, hopefully this year I'm going to step up to a 1440p monitor as well and... <laughs> uh, 10 minute videos, anyone? We'll figure it out. Okay. I have actually made a discovery, which is kind of curious. Uh, because we use 5G for our internet connection, uh, and during the day, our uploads are somewhere in the region of like one meg. One to, I say one to five meg, but it's inconsistent. Uh, for some reason, at about three o'clock in the morning to about eight, our upload does go up to about 10 to 15. Not really sure why. I guess it's that's when the cell tower has the least amount of people using it. 
Um, and when that happens, we can upload videos. I don't want to say quick, but it's doable. So in the future, I may have to just, just wake up stupidly early. I've got lunch A. I don't know what that's about. To upload videos. Which, I suppose, that could be a way around it. Anywho. Let's kill these guys. It will be nice to finally put these 1080p monitors to rest. Which kind of feels like a shame. Because it doesn't feel like I've had them that long. But actually, looking at it, I have had them nearly f about four years. And unfortunately, this one is starting to give me trouble. Screen keeps going black sometimes. It was an intermittent fault to start with, but has now become uh, a daily occurrence. I can only assume it's going to get worse. So, looking at a new Corsair Malnutter. Unfortunately, Corsair likes to uh, extract as much coin from your pocket as possible. So uh, paying a grand for a monitor isn't exactly the most attractive idea right now, considering I need two of them. But it looks like they've uh, discounted a lot of their last year's monitors. Some of those are now gone down to about 400, which is still like 800 pounds for two, but uh, we're moving in the right direction. Anyway, as we're destroying these tin men, you can see they're pretty much immune to gas, which makes sense. They don't need to breathe. I was hoping, actually, the way they fall apart, I was wondering if they're going to be, like, powered by a brain or something. But it doesn't look like it. Ooh. These scarecrows are pretty rough. Impaled human corpses reanimated. How vampiric. Oh, hello. Hello. These lions are quite cool as well. I do like their design. Ooh, you know what? I don't want that. Oof. Kind of cool that you can use daggers in conjunction with other abilities, I suppose. Although there's like a huge amount of points to do so, of course. Um. So if you come through here, yeah, this is where that weapon is that I was talking about. Oh, maybe it isn't, actually. Hmm. Where is that weapon? Curious. Um, we are in the right place, according to my notes here. Ah, wait. Did we already pick it up? And I'm just being, like, extraordinarily stupid. Uh, I also... Ah, we did pick it up. So this weapon um, gets more powerful with the amount that you play. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing that doesn't mean map exploration. I'm guessing that means, um, depending on how much time you've spent in-game, the damage output will increase. Which uh, I have, is interesting, I suppose. Um, but at the moment, it's doing 81 damage. And we have been playing the game for 10 and a half hours nearly. Good lord. But that does include all of my grinding and whatnot. So uh, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem to be super useful. It does have a very good attack speed, though. And I think it's only a one handed weapon as well. So, you know, it's got some strong positives to it. If you just want to leave your game running all night or for a couple of nights, I guess. If that is actually what it means by, you know, gameplay, which I assume so. All right, so we're almost done with the library now, which is good. It's another area completely, or just about completely written off anyway. Now, before going to fight old Vladdy boy, we are going to make a pilgrimage back to the last castle because we're going to spend some money. We're going to buy some elixirs and things like that. Some health potions. 
just because we might as well go into the final fight as powered up as we possibly can be because well it would be bloody rude not to uh, so we've got this main room here to explore She's pretty much just a giant ass room. I don't think there's an awful lot of much in here, I'm gonna be honest. Ooh, we have another Tin Man. I'm not gonna bother with the Tin Man. I say that as I go to grab a bag worth 25 bucks and he tries to eat my ass. Ooh, actually that lion does um, a somewhat significant amount of damage considering. Found ourselves a javelin because sure I guess we'll have it the gas cloud doesn't do a huge amount against the lion either I guess that's just because of our level but I don't know um, what these creatures are supposed to be based on but they are quite interesting I like the way they've got like a vega claw at least that's what it looks like to me Ooh. I don't know how we're firing that little star thing but I like it there's the Uncurse. And I think, yeah, we've already picked up an Uncurse. I don't know why sometimes we do seven damage to these guys and sometimes we do eight damage. I don't know what the science behind that is, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much anyway. So let's go explore the last couple of rooms in the library and then get the fuck out. A little bit disappointed that there are no um, more powerful books or anything to fight in here. I think that was kind of like a strange omission, to be honest, because the book enemies were cool. At least I thought they were cool anyway. Oh, wait, do these heal you even if you just destroy a torch? That's curious. All right, well, that's this place fully explored. Let's get out of here. Now, I also need to have a look. Did we get the dim sum in the last set? Um, I don't think we did. We got the green tea. Lunch A. Okay. Did we really not get the dim sum? God damn it. Okay. Well, I'm not sure actually, to be honest with you, if the dim sum is a decent healing item. Not that we actually need healing items, but I suppose we might as well grab it just for the sake of completionist. Completionism. Is that a word? It is now. Let's float our gassy ass up here. I mean, if we don't complete it in the next set anyway, I mean, how many videos have I got left to record? I think after this one, there's going to be two more videos of this recorded this week. So it's certainly possible. Ah, oh, and we've missed one little square down there. Son of a bitch. One second, guys. Well, I tried to get that gauntlet before uh, it disappeared, but apparently not. I'm not convinced that that's a useful weapon, but it would have been nice to have. I guess we can find it somewhere else. So that's like one of the weapons that these lion guys can drop, apparently. I'm assuming it's kind of like a more upgraded version of the dual knuckle. Anyway, now we've got that done. Right, okay, so we're back outside. Now, I wasn't crazy. Yeah, sometimes these guys just don't heal you. And I'm not... Oof, that's not great. And I'm not sure whether that's a bug or what, to be honest with you. Uh, I, th I thought I was gen genuinely losing my mind. But hey, I guess sometimes I am correct about certain things. Okay, so we need to go get this bloody dim sum. Okay, so some of you with more mental power than myself realize that there is a blank on the map here I also found another item which we'll have a look at in a minute because it's an item that I don't think 
I found before. Now, I don't know if it's a weapon or what. Ah, there it is. Fist of Tulukas. Blessed by uh, Tulukas the Valor. Okay. It actually puts our defense up, curiously. And our attack up by quite a lot. I mean... Let's try it, I guess. That is an incredibly powerful weapon. And it does have a somewhat decent attack speed as well. Still can't destroy the stone skulls with it, though. So, not sure what's going on with them. Anyway, let's continue our exploration. We're going to go down deep, deep below. Yep, so if you can destroy those skulls, uh, I'm, I don't know how you do it. I have no idea. I thought you actually had to destroy them for a uh, beastery report on them, but maybe not. Uh, it's a shame I couldn't pick up the gauntlet either. Because uh, it's a weapon that, although I have seen it when I was playtesting, um, I don't think I used it. Ooh. Somehow... Somehow, we managed to fire a fireball with that. I've no idea how. Seems well beyond my abilities. Okay, so if we drop down again, there should be another save point. If memory serves. Where does this one go? Ah. I see. That's where we're going to be exploring in a minute. So let's go open up the save point before we continue. There's the infernal machine with the garnet. We'll have that. I also picked up a high potion as well, which I should have picked up. Uh, you know what? That knife is beyond useless, so we will take that. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. Ah, lovely. Now, how close are we to a level? I'm going to guess that we're actually pretty far away. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, pretty far away from getting another level, but that's okay. It is what it is, sadly. So, let us push on through to the other side. Now we're back to the great outdoors. There's a few items to pick up here. Nothing too crazy, but we may as well partake in what the game has to offer us. Sadly, we're just going to be drifting around as this cloud of gas for a while. But that's fine. You can see this uh, outside area has become a nightmarish tone of purple. And I like it. I can get behind that. Okay, I thought there was more stuff up here. Am I being crazy? Have I gone mad with power? Possibly. We may never know. But I'm sure we're going to find out. Yeah, okay. So we're, we're, we've almost come full circle, actually, in a way. Now here, some things. We've got the Luminous, or Luminous, I believe that is. Uh, not sure what that one's like. So as I've mentioned, we can actually rearrange the inventory. We can, if we go into it and push, uh, that would be square. We can rearrange items, which is actually fine. The only trouble is you would have to spend a significant amount of time rearranging this inventory yourself and well who got time for that so high potion restores about half health that's cool um now so the luminous sword forged by the elves actually does slightly less damage but it is a very very fast weapon okay so we still have some goodies to find up there so let's go grab those whilst we can. 
We're almost out of time again. Like, you know, 20 minute videos, man. Oof. Let's use the power of fast forward just to get us around there. So we get some magic missiles and there is a lucky coin, I believe. Ah, karma coin. That be the boy. So I'm sure we will. Ah, oh, we're out of magic power as well. Son of a bitch. That's fine. Okay, let's go. The newfound magical abilities. Let's explore. We should almost be there. Right, it's a little bit up here that we didn't get. Ah, that's up there. Oh no, it's not. It's at the top here. That's cool. Excellent. So if we come all the way down here, we can find ourselves another helmet. Uh, sure. And this is the Dragon Helm. Now, the Dragon Helm is basically an upgrade for the Steel Helm. So it frightens enemies and lowers defense. But looking at the stats there, I don't know what it means by frightens enemies, but lowering defense, I'm assuming it means it lowers enemy defense, not ours, because our stats didn't actually decrease. Who knows? This game is mysterious. All right, let's see if we can't get rid of this guy. These Valhalla Knights, they were once so mighty, so proud. Now they only do one damage to us. Yeah, that. How do we do that? I think you've got to roll the attack at the right time, but screw that. Anyway, let's fill the last few bits of this in. So, and then push on forwards back into the uh, clockwork tower I like this place it's cool there are some goodies to be found Ooh. possibly want to use a resistance to being stoned here oh hello cloak tonight huh well kind of go down without too much resistance now I'm also going to assume thanks friend that we can do the same old trick here oh ah oh no we had it there So we obviously don't want to hit them too many times. And yeah, I might actually have to use an ability here. Unless. Come on, click. Oh, we're out of power. No, this is going to suck, isn't it? Right, well, what I'm going to do, guys, off camera, <laughs> I will get all of these switches to play ball and then I will meet you guys back here so thanks for watching guys and as always till next time